So Francis, meat, fish and dairy products are the main sources of carnitine, is that correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Um, carnitine is found in a large amount in meat, mainly red meat, and to a lesser extent uh, chicken and fish. Mm -hmm. um, it's found in smaller quantities in dairy products and uh, very tiny amounts in vegetables and cereals. And as a vegetarian or vegan, do you need to worry about my daily carnitine intake? Um, no, no, you don't need to worry about um, your carnitine intake. Uh, although a vegetarian obtains very little carnitine in their diet, mm -hmm. the body is able to uh, make carnitine itself, and so in vegetarians they make more carnitine in order to maintain a relatively normal amount of carnitine in the body. And what's the main rule of carnitine in our body? So the main rule of, role of carnitine um, is to help in uh, burning fat within the body um, in order to uh, generate energy. So if I would take a carnitine supplement, I would lose some body fat? No, not exactly. Um, it's important to stress that uh, there's no evidence that if you supplement with carnitine alone, um, you will reduce body fat. So does carnitine supplementation has any effect to, to enhance performance? Um, yes, it does. Um, but the, you have to increase the amount of carnitine within your muscles. So you have to supplement with carnitine uh, over a long period of time with a specific strategy to increase the amount of carnitine in your muscles. And there is evidence in the literature to suggest that if you do this, you can have uh, a positive effect on endurance exercise performance. So then you would recommend to endurance athletes to commence a carnitine supplementation to benefit from it? Uh, I would recommend that an endurance athlete's coach looks at the literature and decides for themselves whether it would help uh, for their specific athlete.